Hello everybody and welcome back to another Cripple Space Program video and to another interstellar video where we are going to be starting off with a very unassuming looking starship. Let's be pretty normal to me. It's a uh, Tundra Exploration Starship, which is a really cool, uh, really cool mod. Uh, I think I've used it once on stream before, but never in a video, so I guess that's kind of cool. But we are going to get our Raptors lighted up and we are going to get our craft speeding up and we're going to get ourselves lifting off. Very cool words here as we yeah, start our what seems to be a very normal ascent, but this is very not normal. This starship is not normal. It may look normal, but it is not because we have made some modifications, very epic modifications. Um, probably the first thing that you will you will notice during our ascent here is that we, we'd be not pitching over. Normally when you go to orbit, you want to be like, like pitching over a little bit, you know, gravity turn. Nah, we don't do that here. We, we are epic. We are more awesome. We are going straight up because you will see in a moment actually why we're doing that um so we're not gonna be burning very much as super heavy we're gonna be getting rid of that uh once we have our apps above the carmen line order about around 100 kilometers uh carmen line 70 kilometers but i should show us 100 because yeah see our plume expand which is pretty cool but we're uh, gonna go ahead and cut the engines and now we're going to cross right over to separation of the starship where you'll very quickly see the very obvious modification i have made here yeah so there'd be a new engine on the bottom of Starship. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see this engine. I'm going to light it up here in just a moment. And the plume is going to look really ugly and weird and stupid. But speed! Yes, very fast. That a weird plume. But, uh, yeah, this is at one time speed. And look at that. We're, look, look at the speed. That thing is just zooming. Look at her go. Like, wow, this engine is this engine is pretty OP. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. We're going to get an orbit in, like, 30 seconds. It's pretty, pretty nuts. So, um, once we get circularized here, um, I will, I will discuss a little bit more about what our plan is for the video, what we're, we're going to be doing and what, what on earth is going on with this engine, what the, what all the modifications I've made. But first, I'm going to be quickly get, just going to bring in Super Heavy back in for a landing, because what's the start of the video without a Super Heavy landing? So, I'm going to do a slight correction bar to get ourselves lined up with the KSC, because, you know, the rotation of the planet has moved us a little bit, but, uh, going to go ahead and light up our engines and bring it in for just a nice, normal landing. Loads of extra fuel, because, you know, we went straight up with Super Heavy, we didn't really use them very, very much of its performance. I'm going to go, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring in for a little landing. Plenty of Delta V to spare, so no excuses not to do epic butter landing with Super Heavy. And... 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 Down! There we go! Very epic! So, uh, now we're going to go ahead and cross fade back, or we're going to pop open the cargo door, and you're going to reveal a very big yellow ball inside of our cargo hold, which is basically, basically, that's, that's our interstellar fuel. We are containing fusion pellets in here, uh, which are going to be powering our interstellar engine. Um, so very little fuel to power this thing, considering that we also have our fuel tank, our main fuel tanks are half full because we have those Raptor sea levels on as well. So, um, and that, just that tiny little fuel tank as well as a tiny little bit of fuel inside the engine itself has given us 275,000 meters a second in LTV. So, uh, kind of a lot. Um, gone and done our, uh, our ejection burn, so we're just going to go ahead and burn just under 3,000 meters a second, which is going to get ourselves out of the Kerbin system. Um, completely out of there. And then you will see in just a moment the interstellarness of this interstellar video kind of take shape here. But uh, quickly, would like to quickly do the plugs. I know we got to do them, you know, a uh, uh, necessary evil, I guess, um, because to be an epic YouTuber, right? Yeah. As I obviously am. So if you want to hit the subscribe button, you can. You can also do the like button, the comment button, the Patreon, the join button, our very epic Discord. Uh, also go to piolachop.com where you got some merch awesome plugs are done thank you everyone who has some support of the channel you guys are awesome um but now we can see all these extra star systems which have been added through a very amazing mod called galaxies unbound and we are going to be setting our sights on a system known as Kepsilon curliani uh, which is going to be our destination for today in 3,000 years, which is yay, you know. Hopefully the Kerbals have a cryo tank or sleep something, because they're they're in a dragon. That's where I have the crew in because we could use the crew starship because we need the payload bay to have the um the little little the, the fusion pellets contained in there. Uh, so we just put them in a little bit dra we we put them in a dragon. So uh, that's where they're going to be hanging out um for the for the duration of this video. So hopefully yeah, they'd be they'd probably be pretty cramped in there for three thousand. Actually, the entire mission is about 10,000 years round trip, so yeah. <laughs> cool boy. Um, so, 
Uh, we have uh, we have we have uh, arrived or not arrived, but we have our maneuver node set up. Uh, we were close to arriving, we're doing our final correction burns, and we're going to be going to a place called Ran, which is actually in the Thith system. A little bit of pilot trivia, I guess, the epic trivia of my channel, and not that anyone cares, but um, I used to do an interstellar series, but inter by series, I mean I did one video, um, that's really all I got done, it's called Kerbal Guide to the Galaxy, it was going to be amazing, I thought it was going to be the greatest series in all of YouTube history, and it's just, uh, blah, blah, blah. interstellar takes time, um, I, I had like 50 bajillion mods installed, and the game just, yeah. Um, and it's actually become a meme, especially on my Discord server, to like a, say like when Interstellar and stuff, because I always say there's gonna be another video I never made it. So I don't know. Consider this the sequel, spinoff, prequel, prequel, spinoff, spinoff. It's like it's like Rogue One, like the Star Wars ones, but like KSP, I guess. It's like a side quest. But uh, we have arrived at Ron, which is a really cool plan, as you can see. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag the retrograde retrograde button and just like just drag it for like ten solid minutes. Probably it wasn't actually that long, but uh, yeah, because we're coming in straight at from interstellar speed. So that's like twenty thousand meters a second of of slowing down. We're gonna have to do at at Ron. Um, and uh, the reason I brought up my, my Interstellar series is uh, the, the uh, series centered around a planet, the, the home base of it, I guess I should say, um, it was, uh, was a, a moon called Bor, uh, which was also a moon of Thyth in the Kepsilon Kirliani system. It's actually one moon away from Ron, so I don't know. Thyth just has some really cool, really cool moons. I wasn't really planning on going here, but I just, I noticed Ron and it was really cool. It met all my criteria. Like, I wanted a place with an atmosphere. Um, that I could belly flop starship on. That's why you needed an atmosphere, right? I mean, place we can belly flop, but also it wasn't too big that we, we you know, we couldn't get off of it. Um, and this place, you know, it, it had a thick enough atmosphere. It, it, so it satisfied all the criteria as we light up our engine and burn for 20,000 meters a second, which, oh boy, that's, that's just, that's a lot of delta V. Um, you may have noticed, by the way, we have had our payload bay open. Uh, while we've been doing all of our burns. There is a reason for that. I am not stupid. Well, I am stupid, but there is a reason for the payload bait being open. That's because uh, uh, the radiators are stored in there, and we kind of need the radiators to be extended, so they need to extend out of the bay. So that's why those be open, um, because uh, the engine would melt if we burn it for a long time without the radiators. So um, we are now uh, in orbit around uh, Ron, and we're going to be deorbiting around Ron, and now we can start our landing sequence here. So uh, our interstellar, a uh, very epic interstellar engine, which we've got all the Delta V out of, uh, unfortunately does not function in an atmosphere. So we are going to be relying on some good old raptors to be doing our landing burn here. So we got six of them um, uh, coming in here, and this uh, they're they're kind of all situated around the, uh, the the middle engine there which is kind of similar to an older starship design i believe that one of the bfr designs had the uh, had like a center vacuum engine and a bunch of sea levels around it so um yeah so coming into ron uh ron is a very very cool planet i think it may be my favorite like all the galaxies on bow planets are amazing they're they're really cool planets and moons and whatever there's like there's literally like over 100 i think i think galaxies and bound is the best planet pack you should you should get it very cool um so yeah, this place, it's kind of red, which is really cool. And it has some of the coolest surface features you'll see as they come in here. Um, so this thing is kind of like a lathe. Uh, it is about 0.8 Gs, so it's about 80% the size of Kerbin. And there, look at that, look at that, oh, that's so cool. Um, and it has about, uh, atmosphere about 1 ATM, so about one one atmosphere. So, so that is an effective atmosphere, about thicker than Kerbin, so that's pretty interesting. So um, because we have that super heavy engine in the back, uh, it is not very stable. It really likes to flip backwards. So that's what it's going to be doing. You're going to flip backwards, pick up a lot of horizontal speed. Um, try to correct there. But here we go, flying past these really epic mushroom type things. That is so cool. Um, these things are actually 3D, and you can actually land on them, which is oh, that's just that is super cool. This is it's too good of a mod. Um, unfortunately, they're not super. Um, they're not super flat, so I couldn't land on them. I really wanted to, but I can't. But uh, lighting up the engines now, all six of them going to do our flip maneuver. They're going to be dropping down to just three raptors for the final bit of our descent here. Coming in, coming in. Very epic landing. Maybe, maybe epic. And touchdown. Welcome to Ron, everybody. You're landing right next to those mushroom tree type things. They're actually giant. Like, they're like a few kilometers in height. They're pretty crazy. This place is super cool. Unfortunately, we can't disembark any of the Kerbals because, like I said, it is 0.8 G. So if they were to get out of the Starship, they wouldn't be able to get back in. So, yeah, can you look, have a look at a little exploring here. Look at that. Let's get some screenshots. That is 
Oh yeah, that is just that is just a magnificent. I don't know the Italian stuff, but uh, uh, we're gonna have to get going. You're no time to dilly dally. Gonna light up our six raptors that are gonna be doing a ascent out of here. So we're gonna be going straight up like we did with uh, our ascent out of Kerbin, um, because um, the relative ISP of the engines um, will like crazily. Um, Make a difference. Make a difference. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of late. I'm like literally dying. Um, not really. Um, so like if you think about it, um, the Raptors have about a 280 sea level ISP, the 300, a little 300 in the vacuums, I believe, in in this uh, in the KSP here. Um, this engine, the interstellar engine, has like a, a way more. We have so basically um the we only have a few thousand meters second at altitude with the raptors and we have literally hundreds of thousands of this interstellar engine so like basically what we need to do is we need to just use the raptors to get out of the atmosphere which is when this this interstellar engine becomes usable so as soon as we get out of the out of the atmosphere like goodbye raptors hello isp you know hello thrust hello delta v um because it's literally a negligible negligible amount of delta v to get into orbit so yeah, that is going to be that. So we're going to light up our um, our engine once again, get the, the uh, radiators extended, and now we're going to be heading back to Kerbin. Yes, no time to spare as we do our ejection burn now. We're we'll doing the same thing as we did to get out of, into here as to, to get out. So we're going to be just uh, uh, escaping from the star system, then we're going to be uh, go basically pointing target to head back um, to the Kerbal and the, the planet of Kerbin. Um, so while we're doing that, I think I should tell story time and pilot stories, right? Very best stories ever. Um, so in my original interstellar video that I talked about earlier, um, where I featured uh, Galaxies Unbound, um, the creator of Galaxies Unbound, uh, known as uh, Star Crusher 96, actually commented on the video and was like, "Oh, thanks for using Galaxy GU, like you know, awesome." Uh, and I responded, not knowing that guy was he the the creator of the mod, and was like, "Oh yeah, no problem, thanks." I just figured it was a guy like, "Oh." That he was like happy to see someone use the mod in a video and i'm like oh thanks yeah turns out that was the guy who made the mod um <laughs> that was kind of a meme um so if you comment again star crusher on this video if you happen to see it i will know it's you so yeah <laughs> that was kind of funny so gonna be skipping through a lot of our trajectory inner uh, correcting burn correction burn stuff because those be boring we already saw those on the way out to ron so um on the way back to kerbin um, we're just going to be, yeah, going to be bringing, bringing her in. And we're going to do the same direct interstellar capture thing around Kerbin. So we're going to go ahead, just get ourselves an encounter with Kerbin. And then we're just going to go ahead and make a maneuver node at Kerbin Periaps. And then just going to drag the retrograde button for in, to infinity and to infinity and beyond, as you'll see here. And in just a moment, once I finish a little bit more of time warpage. Um, and oh my, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Lot, lot, a lot of pulling of the delta V, a lot of pulling. There, there you go. See, three thousand, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven. A lot of delta V. Um, to this one because I realized I had a way, way loads of fuel to spare. I came into Kerbin or the Kerbal system way faster than I did to the uh, the Kepson Kerlion system, Kerlioni system. How you pronounce it? Um, so uh, it was twenty thousand meters a second to slow down around Ron. It's up. It's forty-eight thousand <laughs> second to slow down around here. Like, oh boy, that's a lot. And you can even see, like, we're in one time speed. You can see the mun like flying by. I guess it's speed a little time lapse, but whatever. Uh, point is, gonna be lighting up our engine here to get our way onto Kerbin or get our way capturing the Kerbin as uh, the radiators glow bright yellow there to try and dissipate all the heat. And unfortunately, this engine does have a little bit of an overheating problem. Um, it cannot burn for forty-eight thousand meters a second. Unfortunately, without overheating, as you can see, the temperature is starting to get really high. So, unfortunately, I do have to cut the engine just a little bit early, which means how are we going to be able to be captured? Because we got four and a half thousand meters a second, which is a lot of delta V. Like that is more delta V than you ever need a bird to capture. Like even if you're coming in from like Eve Height or Moho, you forty-five hundred is you know like seven. That's a lot of speed. So, um, basically, what I do is I just uh, I just time warp a little bit, wait for the engine to cool off a tad. And then I, I light it back up to the last few thousand meters up a second of burning. And then we'll get captured, and then it'll be time. There'll be the home stretch. It'll be time to land, um, which is yeah, very, very cool, I guess. Very epic. Uh, so we're going to be just uh, getting ourselves into an orbit. Um, mod I use for the engine, by the way, is uh, Interstellar Extended. Very, very, very cool mod. Um, 
yeah, I, I learned through the making of this video. If you want to do Interstellar, do it with just a few mods. So, you know, like Tundra Exploration, Interstellar Extended, um, and Galaxies Unbound, and then a few dependencies. That's basically all I used. Um, when I did my series, I tried to do like 50 mods, and oh boy, it took the game like 10 minutes to load, and it was buggy and glitchy and bad. But this is just so much better as we can start our final entry into Curb, and yes, we'll be back 10,000 years later. Yeah. Oh boy, that's a long mission. Um, so, yeah. Um, now that a lot of the liquid fuel has been drained because we used the fuel out of the raptors, um, there is, um, the thing is even more back heavy because that engine weighs a lot on the back as we go through a very non settle quick save and quick load. So this thing is, oh boy, it really struggles, um, it struggles to maintain stability. But one positive though is we have, uh, burned off a lot of our fuel, um, coming back or uh, from the from the liquid fuel, which is really like a majority of the weight of this craft is actually kind of crazy So we actually only need to light three of the Raptor engines for our landing burn back into curve And as we flip the flaps and come in for epic landing back at the launch pad right where we started 10,000 years later Oh boy, Kerbal's probably pretty tired right now. So yeah, I'm um, coming in very epic landing maybe Ooh. Touchdown! Welcome, welcome down. And actually, if you notice during our, our landing there, you could have seen uh, Super Heavy. Um, that was landing, so I guess that's kind of cool. Fully reusable Interstellar, too. You could put that in the title. Yeah, probably not. But uh, that is game because to the end of today's video. So on screen is all the members. If you want to become a member, you can hit the join button below. Also on screen is the Patreon. If you want to become a Patreon, you could um, uh, patreon.com slash pilot2049. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Until next time, please rate or comment to the video. Once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, and bye.